Hi Capricorns, welcome back to the channel guys. We are doing quick messages, uh, oracle messages from spirit for you. Just a word, uh, I've got a cold, so <laughs> be patient with me if I have to pause for the coughs. So, let's jump in guys. Let's see what's going on, what's being brought out for my Capricorns this week. Oh, look at there. We've got trick or treat, mischief and play. This is your spirit guys telling you, you got to lighten up some. You really got to quit uh, focusing in on the, the grind, the survival mode kind of stuff and lighten up a little bit this week with mischief and play. Yes, let's go trick or treating y'all. Let's dress up. Let's do it. Next one. Oh, look at there. <laughs> Here's some of your mischief and play. Your higher self, your guides are uh, advising for you. <laughs> There's some healing in that for you. Yes, lust. Lust. Ooh. Ooh, 24. It's the number 24. Y'all know this reduces to 6. It brings in Virgo's uh, energy of daily, daily mischief and play. Just some fun. Just lighten up every single day. Incorporate it into a daily practice. It helps to heal on all levels. Next one, we've got the beauty in life. And number 40, yes. Respect the thorns if you want to get to the beauty. But this is, this week is a good week for us. Add some beauty into your life. The things you're very passionate about. Um, could also be uh, declutter your uh, environment wherever you spend the, the majority of your time. It's time to take a pause, clean it up just a little bit, quit quit stressing over stuff, and like I said, add some mischief and play. Yes, beautiful things are entering into our life this week, Capricorn. Next one, we have a balsamic moon, time for healing. Yes, it's required for your overall health and healing. Mischief play, lighten up, mm -hmm. quit taking everything so serious right now. You need a break. You need a break. Next one, a new romantic cycle begins new moon in Libra. Ooh, with the lust card. Capricorns, go for it. Yes, a new phase is beginning for us. Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. Yeah. <laughs> adjustments we might have to adjust to add in that mischief in play but it'll be very worth it and we might need to clean up our space because we might decide to do that mischief in play in our space so we want to feel comfortable about that yes beauty adding the beauty into your life the fun quit taking everything so serious next one First light and beginning a new cycle. Yes, we are. Oh, guys, I love this. Got new, new, new for my Capricorns. A lot of fresh vitality coming back for us into our daily routine, into our life. Be open and receptive to it. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. Yes. Oh, I love it. Cross the bridge. Rejuvenating rain, yes. Clear the past, heal the present. If you clear the past energy out, you will heal the present energy you're now in. Next card is surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout. Slow down, yes. Honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Oh, so this is a week for us to really rejuvenate, clear our energies, and to lighten up and refresh ourselves by adding in some of the play, the mischief, a little bit of the physical healing too, if you know what I mean. But it is, that card can also represent for us the things that we are passionate about, the things we truly desire and want when it comes to play and mischief. <laughs> you really want to dress up? And go out trick-or-treating? Do it! <laughs> yes! Next one, surrender to trust. Trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do. Take action. Be confident. Be confident that you have chosen the right path. Because you have. Yes, be confident. Our blessing this week, my Capricorns. What are we getting? 
Oh, I love it. A blessing for peace of mind. For peace of mind. A refreshing, rejuvenating rain coming over us. Clear the energy. Rain is purification, like I said, with the beauty. Make sure you're adding the beauty into life, into your physical surroundings when it comes to the physical things. But also with your mind, declutter your mind. Play, mischief, rejuvenate. Let go of the serious grind that we might be in right now. First card, this is tarot. It uh, is advice for any area of your life that you're needing it. Page of Swords, there's excitement in the air and a pep in your step. You're bursting with ideas and boundless curiosity, ready to begin a new adventure in which you're eager to share what's on your mind. Ooh, love it. New adventure, new, new, newness, new way of thinking, blessing for peace of mind. The next ones, we've got two. This is for any relationship, any relationship. First one. I've got them upside down, y'all. Knight of Wands. Passion is building in your connection, bringing a renewed sense of excitement and adventure. Remain balanced within yourself, but don't be afraid to feed the flames of your desires. Feed the flames. Can we see that, guys? Feed the flames of your desires. Yes. Ooh, it's a beautiful thing. Next one. Three of Wands. Your journey is still unfolding. You or your person are manifesting and planning for your future together. Don't give up on this love yet. Oh, I like that. Don't give up on the love yet. Vitality. Add, feed those flames. First message from Spirit. <laughs> yes, Capricorn. It's a whole new world for you. Yes, it is. Opening up for you this week. Nurture yourself. Feed the flames of your passion. Let go of any inhibitions. If you're a guy, loosen that tie. <laughs> yes. Quit, quit stifling yourself. Don't choke yourself this week. Embrace this change. Oh, I love it. I love it. Embrace this change. Seek divine inspiration. Yeah. And last one, my Capricorns. Your ancestors are thanking you for loosening up. Uh-huh. Having some fun. Adding zest and desire, fire back into your life. Okay, guys. That's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings for a beautiful week ahead. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless me.